Hello and welcome back to another video. Round 8 of the OOR series was a Barcelona. Just before we get into the race, I want to ask you to like this video if you enjoy it. It would mean a lot to me if you did. Lastly, do follow me on Twitter to stay in the know of any new content or future Twitch stream announcements. Speaking of which, follow me on Twitch where I'll be streaming a set of courses related content among other things, most of which will be streamed exclusively, never to see YouTube. Make sure to follow me so you don't miss out. Links for all my social media platforms are in the description below. I guess I should be more excited about the race and the final result than I really am. My pace throughout the week was around 47 second mark, with the occasional 46 second lap times. Nevertheless, I qualified with a high 46 second lap to start 13th on the grid. The lights went out and I had just about as good a start as those around me with the BMW of Dunphy behind me getting a rather exceptional start there as we headed towards turn 1. Suddenly the Porsche of McIllany swerved to the right into the Bentley of McKinnon. I slammed my brakes on but the contact was unavoidable. With that, the lap one shenanigans were over, and it was on with the race. Only a couple laps later, Kidman in the Bentley would collide with McIlhenny in the Porsche from lap one. It just was not his day. With Kidman slowed down from the incident, it was time to make a move down the inside of turn three. I could not quite get the job done there, but turn four was coming. With some clever positioning, I managed to force him wide again, and this time getting the job done. He was rather generous with the space he was giving me though. A few laps later, I found two Bentleys breathing down my neck. I was able to hold them off for a bit as they battled each other for a while. Around lap 7 or 8, one of them found their way around me. I tried to battle him into the next corner, but as he moved over to the right, he nudged me a little, and that was the end of that. He soon disappeared into the distance. Fifteen minutes into the race, I decided to head into the pits. I made the mistake of adding in ten additional litres of fuel. This was a mistake for three reasons. One, I already added additional fuel to my starting load, making this pure dead weight. Two, the race still had half an hour to go, thus the additional weight and the long tyre stint was never going to produce results. Thirdly, the pit stop time was increased and this may have been the reason it cost me one position towards the end. With that, I set out to complete the last stint of the race. Additional 10 litres of fuel did calm my nerves though. As the other cars came in to make their pit stops, I soon found myself back in 9th position. With about 10 minutes to go, Kidman in the number 3 Bentley made his move down the main straight into turn 1. A well deserved position if I do say so. He was very consistent throughout the race, good show.
A few minutes later, the race was all over. From 13th to 9th, not a bad result. Apart from a few times I ran wide and the turn 1 incident, I ran a pretty good race. Lastly, congratulations to Dodge and the McLaren for taking the win. I don't think the man done a lap that was not in the 43 seconds from quali all the way to the end of the race. Well done. Thank you for watching. Until next time, cheers.